Well, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and I am here, guys, to teach you how to use the turtle program. Yes, it's enough for you to actually become a complete expert of how to be a turtle master. No, this is because every single day, I don't know how many times, I lost count, I get asked, how do you use that mining program? This little program uh, that I used that was written for me by Mr. Uh, uh, Princeton about, you know, how to... You know, how to strip mine. It'll, it strips mine for you. That's what it does. That's what the Tuttle program does. I mean, no me, the programmer. I don't program Tuttles or anything like that. I just know how to use them. Uh, and this program has served me immensely. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. So I'm going to go with the basic. First of all, right away, let's teach you how to make a Tuttle. All right. First of all, you need stone. All right, you put it right here. Grab some glass plane. Put it right there. Put some redstone. And you get a computer. You need a computer. You don't have a computer. You don't have a Tuttle. Then... You want to put the turtle right there, the computer right in the center. Put a chest right under it, surrounded by iron. And you get a turtle. Sweet. Now I'm going to show you how to make a pickaxe because you better know how to make a pickaxe. Or else you shouldn't be modding, playing Minecraft mod at this point. Okay. So what you want to do, you put that next to the turtle right there. And you get a mining turtle. Yay. We're ready to go. All right, cool. All right, so the first thing you want to do is uh, let's set up the turtle. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, two ways that you can actually, two things you can do. One, you can fuel the turtle with either coal or lava. Let me show you how to do it with lava. Put some lava right there and then just type refuel and hit enter. And that's it. Takes a bucket of lava and it has some fuel. You can just repeat the process. Hit the up arrow key to rewrite the same sentence again. One more time. And there you go. Your turtle now has 3,000 of something that gives it fuel. <laughs> so there you go. So now, let's get to the program itself, okay? The program is very simple. What you want to do, though, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have um, uh, your config files enabled in ComputerCraft to enable HTTP. Let me show you how to do that now. First of all, what you want to do is you want to find your path to your config folder of FTV. If you don't know how to get here, very simple. Go to your launcher, once you open it up, go to your options tab, and look at, the, look at that, install folder, it gives you the actual path to where you can find it. So then you can actually go search it. So for example, you see mine right there? I know that is on my E drive, users, Sina Epic, desktop, FTV, and there we are. So you just find your unleash folder, Minecraft, config, and here you're gonna find the computer craft configuration file. All right, so two ways you can edit this file. If you don't have any fancy programs or anything, what you want to do is that you want to grab this a notepad. Just open the notepad, and all you do is you can just drag this in here. Bam! See that? Pretty cool. So then what you want to do is you want to come down to Generals. You see with this tab right here, it says Enable HTTP API on Computers. You want that to say True. It'll say False. You want it to say True. Enable API HTTP True. Once you do that, just click File, Save, close the darn thing, and you're ready to go. Now that you have it enabled, what you want to do now is you want to type... The first thing you want to do is name the turtle. Let's do it. Label, Set, and I usually call them Epic Turtle. That's what I call them. Now, once you name the turtle, it makes sure that if you break the turtle, the program will still be there, so you don't have to do this process over again. Now, let's go get the program installed into the turtle. So what you want to do, you want to do Paste, Bin, Get... Get the code, which will be in the description for you. You can download it there. Uh, you, all you need is those numbers. That's it. That, those numbers and letters, and you're good to go. Give it a name. The name is the command that you want it to use to activate the turtle um, whenever you want it to actually do some mining. So once you do that, you hit enter. It connects to pastebin.com to download the beautiful program or script. I think I should call it a script. I don't know. Either way. So now that it's set, all you type is Epic Mine, which is what I named it. And look at that. Prince Toman has done a beautiful job with this program. All you have to do is answer the questions. So let's answer the question. How many tunnels do you want? I want two tunnels. Let's do that. Two tunnels with a one uh, height of three, which is a typical strip mining uh, tunnel, and a length of five. Let's make five. There you go. And two blocks separating in between. There you go. All right, so here it asks you the question. Do you want to use regular chest, ender chest, which this thing actually has the capability of using ender shed. 
when you're using ender chest what it will do it'll actually pick up the ender chest put it on the ground put all the stuff in it then break the ender chest and put it back into itself and continue moving on we don't have ender chest right now so what we're going to do is regular chest so you hit the regular key which is c there you go we do want to use tor torches we want the total to put down torches every so often to light up the tunnels and we want to throw away some items which is the p and there you go and then you hit enter one more time and then it'll ask you if you want to save it as your favorite ah yes why not let's save it this is if you want to manage extra slots now i am going to use this right now you don't have to use it but if you don't use it, you can, you're can only going to have one slot per each individual thing that you're going to need. But right now, we're going to use it. So we're going to use S. And we're going to tell it that we want just one slot for fuel. And I want two slots for torches. This is typically the only thing that I change. Because I run out of torches the most when I'm actually mining. So when the tunnel goes, all of a sudden I end up with a dark tunnel because we ran out of torches. Well, this makes sure that I can have three slots or four slots. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do two. And then number of chests, just one. We don't need, we can stack 64 chests if we want to. And the number of the center items is going to be one too, because it's just items that are going to be thrown away. Then it asks you, do you want the turtle to go left or to go right? Let's go right on this one. Okay. And there you go. So now it gives you instructions. You know, it says place torches on slot one and two. I'm just going to cut this in half right there. Then it says place fuel on slot three. Now. Since we already have put some lava in it, all you need is just one of these guys and I'll be good to go. But if you don't, just put the stack in there and then you give it some chest and then a throwaway, which is the cobble. We don't want to keep any cobble. We want the cobble to be thrown away. If you want to, you don't have to do it this way. It's your choice. And then hit enter. And look at that. Tunnel going to work. So it's going to do two tunnels of five length. And then watch the tunnel is going to start. It's going to turn around here pretty soon. See it? There you go. Turns around. And that's what it's kind of like a snake pattern. See, it lays down the torches. And there you go. It's going to come to this end because I just told it to do two tunnels. Going to come out. And there you go. Goes back to the position it first started. Sometime today. <laughs> there it goes. And then it just says, Hey, I'm done. I hope I work well. You did fantastic, Tuttle. There you go, guys. That is how you use the Tuttle Mining program to create some strip mine, uh, some strip mining, you know. So, hope you enjoy. I hope it makes sense. Please give you some uh, feedback on the comments. Like the video if it helps you. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.